In this problem, we're being asked to divide 5.13 by 0.38. And if I were asked to do this kind of problem, uh, 99 times out of 100, I would just grab a calculator and punch it in. Uh, easiest and quickest way to get a correct answer. But who knows, maybe you'll be stuck without a working calculator on a desert island or in an elevator that's uh, stopped between floors and you absolutely need to divide 5.13 by 0.38 in order to uh, rescue yourself. So for that situation, we need to know how to do this by hand. So I'm going to show you. The first thing you do is just set it up like a regular long division problem. And then what you want to do is move the decimal point so that you get a whole number out here on the outside of our little bracket. So I'm going to have to move this to spaces to get the decimal point there. If I do that to this number, I have to do it to this number as well. So I'll move that two spaces. And then I'm just going to rewrite this problem. This becomes a 38 out here and 513 here. So this problem is really 513 divided by 38. So let's go ahead and do the long division. The first question is how many 38s go into 51? That's just one. 2 times 38 is definitely more than 51. So we'll now multiply 1 times 38, put that here, and then we'll subtract. We're going to have to borrow 1. 11 minus 8 would be 3. 4 minus 3 would be 1. So now we have 13, and we bring down the 3. So how many 38s go into 133? Well, let's see. Um, I think 3. Yeah, 4 is too many, because 4 times 3 would be 120, but 4 times 8 uh, would be another 32. So that's that's too many. So 3 it is. Let's do our multiplication. 3 times 8 is 24, and 3 times 3 is 9, 10, 11. And then again, we'll subtract 133 minus 114. So we'll have to borrow again. 13 minus 4 is 9. 2 minus 1 is 1, and we've got 19. 19 is less than 38. So we could say um, you know, 13 with a remainder of 19, but we want actually an exact decimal answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a decimal point here and add a 0. And I'm going to put a decimal point up here at the same time. Now this 0 is going to come down, just like we would if we were carrying on with a long division. And now we're going to ask how many 38s are there in 190. And this number happens to be 5. I, I know that because I know that 19 is half of 38. So I knew this was going to be a 0.5. If I didn't know that, I could, I could try some multiplying of numbers by 38 um, to test that out. But it is 5. So 5 times 38 is actually going to be 190. And you get a remainder of 0. So our answer here, finally, is 13. So that is how to divide uh, one decimal by another, uh, doing it without a calculator.